time for another instructional video. Many people either have or want a portable heater, and that is whether it's for camping, hunting, fishing, or for the ever more popular emergency heat for when we lose power. People are quickly learning that having an emergency heat source is crucial. With various brands out there, the most popular emergency portable heater and is or is known as Mr. Buddy Heater or the various lines under Mr. Heater. Do you have one? Do you want one? Have you thought about buying a second one or possibly upgrading? A lot of people wonder, which one's the best? Which one should I buy? What are the differences and are they significant? What portable emergency heater is best for you? And is an upgrade really worth it? So let's break it down for you. Hello, I'm Cohen from Riverside Homestead, where we do weekly videos. There it's news that affects you, prepping tips, emergency preparedness how-tos. We try to have a variety of videos to break it up. So if you would happen to find value in that, be sure to hit that notification bell so you guys can stay up to date. Let's jump into this one. Portable emergency heaters. In this case, the Mr. Heater line, with the most popular being Mr. Buddy Heater. And remember guys, let me know if you have one, which one you have, why you like it, if you want a different one, and most importantly, if you have questions, feel free to ask in the comments. I'll either get back to you or one of our community members will answer your question. We have a fantastic community that loves helping each other out. So as you guys can see, we have just about every Mr. Heater product on the table to look over. So let's compare these popular Mr. Heater models. I'm gonna tell you guys the differences. I'm gonna tell you what my recommendations are for each one and its ideal uses. And to top it off, I'm gonna give you guys my favorite pick. The winner if I could only pick one. Also, I'll give you a couple secret uses that you can do with these heaters that most people don't know about. And I'll answer a couple most common questions. Okay, first of all, let's talk about the Little Buddy Heater. This one happens to be called the Little Buddy Heater. This thing puts out about 3,800 BTUs per hour. And like with all these, they use propane gas this little guy right here is gonna heat up to 95 square feet per specs. All you do is push down on the button, it lights the pilot light, you hold down for up to 30 seconds, and then you let go. You'll see it start to glow. It's also got a really cool handle. It's got a simple off switch. I actually knocked this one over last night and it immediately turned off. It's got a base that slips over these canisters that is about eight inches around got an automatic low oxygen shutoff system, an ODS. And like I said, this one's just made to fit on these one pound propane canisters. It's known for being quiet, clean, and odor free operation. So what I find useful about this particular one is it's great for small spaces, whether you're in a small camper, a hunting blind, an ice fishing tent, or just heating a small, small room. The handle is super useful. You have to be super careful around here because this is very hot. What I don't like about it is it seems like it tends to be a little tipsy. Seems like this one can tip over a lot easier than the other ones. But when it tips over, it turns off. Okay, so the next size up is the portable buddy heater. This is the one that they refer to as the Mr. Buddy. And the Mr. Buddy portable heater happens to probably be the most popular one out there. This is the one that goes on sale, really good sales sometimes. This one happens to have a range of 4,000 or 9,000 BTU per hour. This size you can use either of these one pound propane cylinders, get an accessory hose, and use a larger propane tank. This one heats up to 225 square feet, which is about the average size of a small room. It's got a single control start knob. Bring it over to pilot, push it down. You'll see the pilot light if it's warmed up. Sometimes you need to hold this down for about 30 seconds. Then you'll push it down a little bit and rotate it into low or high. And again, low is 4,000 BTUs and high as 9,000 BTUs per hour. It's got a swivel regulator. That way it's a lot easier to screw on these one pound cylinders. It's got a fold down handle. It's also equipped with the tip over mechanism. It will shut off. It's got a piezo igniter. And again, it can run off of one pound cylinders or a 20 pound tank or anything in between. Now what I like about this one is the size. It's a really good size. It's more sturdy. I feel like this is a great one to heat a room. If you're heating something smaller, you can easily be extra warm. The other cool thing about this Mr. Buddy heater is this is the one that tends to go on sale a lot. 
forgot, and I forgot to give you guys the list prices on those ones before. So as soon as I get done with these other two, I'll give you the list price. That way you guys know if you're getting a good deal or not out there. Here, this one right here is called the Big Buddy Portable Heater. An indoor radiant propane heater that emits 4,000 or 9,000 or even 18,000 BTU. It also the same runs off of propane gas, but get this, it's rated for up to 450 square feet. That happens to be the size of say like a large living room. Same story, single control start knob. It works exactly the same way as the Mr. Buddy. Off, pilot, up, slide over to low. You're gonna see the left side one light up. You can take it to medium and you'll see it get significantly brighter putting out more heat, that 9,000 BTU, or you can go to mega high, which will light this second panel and then give you the 18,000 BTU per hour. This one happens to have two wings on each side, same swivel mechanism on the regulators. It also has a second spot for another cylinder over here. Also the low oxygen shutoff system. And again, you can run the small one pound cylinders or you can hook it up to a 20 pound tank or anything in between. Now I can tell you, sitting this close with both those burners going, it was getting really, really hot. Now, what would I use this one for? Like I said, this one's gonna heat up a bigger space. You might have like the Mr. Buddy in a smaller bedroom. This one's gonna be in your living room putting off a lot more heat. I would purchase this one for emergency heat in the home because you're gonna be able to easily heat a bedroom. You're gonna be able to heat a larger area, like say a living room and a kitchen. This one will make a very big difference on emergency heat at home if the power went out. If I had to give it a downside, it would just be the size. It's it's a little bit bulkier, it's a little bit heavier, and I'd almost say that this one could be overkill for like a camper and take up more room as it's about double the size of the Mr. Buddy. Okay, so the next one up the Mr. Heater line, this one happens to be the Mr. Heater Buddy Flex Heater. And it's also known to be the new generation of Mr. Heater coming out in 2020. It's another known indoor safe radiant heater. It's gonna put out 11,000 BTU max. It's got an omnidirectional mesh burner, which gives you 360 heat. Whereas the other ones are a little bit more directional. So, so this one can space heat an area really well. It's also got a little pilot shield down here to give it some wind barrier, giving it more protection for like outdoor use. It's got a rail system up here. Also a handle on a swivel. Everything is built very sturdy. It's like a tank compared to these other ones, which means it's also on the heavier side, but it seems more boxy and more stable and definitely more tip safe. This one's got integrated storage areas. It's got a battery panel for the igniter. This is where you can hook up the accessory hose. This is what the back looks like. As you can see, this side over here is for the heater and this side over here is for the accessory mode. Over here, it's got an accessory compartment for maybe a hose. So this one's pretty cool because you can buy that external burner and also it attaches to the top so it can be all one unit. And I've used this numerous times going on hunting trips and camping trips. It's just a nice boxy unit that you can put in there and you know that you're taken care of with heat and cooking. So I like this one for heating a larger space, much like the living room. We've also used it numerous times sitting outside, say around a picnic bench. It puts off a nice a radiant 360 heat, giving everybody a piece of that warmth. And as I mentioned, it seems more tip safe. I like that about this one. It definitely feels like it'd be pretty tough to knock it over. The handle seems very strong and durable compared to the other models. As I said, the construction on this one just seems a little more tanky. And by that, I mean structurally strong. What I don't like about this one is this one tends to be kind of spendy. You don't see this one go on sale very often. Another thing you have to keep in mind is your proximity to this thing, because as it's putting out 360 heat, you gotta make sure you're not too close or you'll burn something. Kind of like I did right here. This thing was too close to this side and you can see it started to melt, which makes me remind you guys safety first. You can easily have an accident with any type of emergency heat source. And as it may have an emergency shut off for if it gets tipped over, and as it also has an emergency low oxygen sensor, you gotta make sure stuff's not too close to it because it could catch on fire. 
and I always strongly recommend for you to have an extra carbon monoxide detector because you never know when equipment can fail. With that, at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a couple other videos that go along with this video that are very helpful. Also, I'll put them in the description below. So you guys might be wondering the price. Let's go over the price of these things. Website list price on the Little Buddy heater is $111. List price on the portable Buddy heater, known as the Mr. Buddy heater, is $148.46. List price on the Big Buddy portable heater is $246.74. And sometimes you can see you can find these things for a good deal. This was purchased probably a few years ago for $119. And just because this is the list price on the website doesn't mean they go on really good sales. In a video around Christmas, I told you this guy was going for sale. I think it was $59 at Costco and it came with the filter and the accessory hose. That was such a good deal. I had to get a second Mr. Buddy. And that happens to be that one right there on that little metal ladder. I said it came with the accessory hose and the filter, allowing you to hook up small propane tanks like that, which makes it run for a very long time. This buddy Flex Heater comes in at $255 on the website. If you guys look around like I did, sometimes you can find the combo with the side cooker accessory, and you'll be able to find that combo on sale oftentimes. I think I found mine at North 40. And again, you can buy accessory hoses, just like I'm using on that one there. Try to buy them coming with this little filter as well. As you can see, I got it on this small little propane tank, which is super ideal, easy to carry around, and it lasts a very long time. So before I get to the one that I would pick if I could only pick one, let me add that I'm not an affiliate with Mr. Heater, but I will leave a link down in the description below. That way you guys can go and get more information. I'll also try to find Amazon links for all of this equipment. I definitely recommend shopping local, but I know that some of you guys just don't have the option. And also, if you guys wanna know more about a carbon monoxide detector, like a 10 year battery powered one, I've got a video on that. And I have a video on those three secret things that most people don't know about these Mr. Buddy heaters involving this thing, in which I get a lot of questions. Which one does it fit? Well, when it comes to the big buddy, it seems to fit just fine. And when it comes to the standard Mr. Buddy, it seems to fit just fine. So if you guys wanna know more about those secret hacks about the Mr. Buddy emergency heater, be sure to check that video out. Now, what is my favorite one? If I could only pick one, maybe I was budget restricted, only could purchase one, which one would I get? Well, I'm sorry, but it's a two-part answer. If it's for emergency heat in your home, and that's about the only thing you will ever use it for, I would hands down get the emergency heater, which is called the Big Buddy. The Big Buddy is gonna be able to put out a lot more heat and heat your home. It's not gonna matter so much on the limited space because it is a little bit bigger, but having that extra heat I think would be more crucial. Hook it up to a 20 pound tank and you're gonna be pretty good. You have a few extra tanks, you're gonna be able to heat areas of your home to weather the storm, to weather the winter power outage. And on the other hand, if you're an outdoorsman, say you have other emergency indoor heat sources, I would go hands down with the standard Mr. Buddy heater. It's easy to grab, it's easier to take with you wherever you're going. And like I said, in an emergency situation, you're gonna be easily able to heat at least a room with this guy. But I find that I grab this guy more often than not when it comes to those outdoor adventures or heating a space out here for a while. As you guys see, I'm running this guy in the back of my videos a lot of the time. Which brings me to another question. Does this thing melt the handle on the back of my Mr. Buddy heater? This, this is the back of that heater and there is not one mark on it from this tray. And as you see in my other videos, this thing is on it constantly. There's a little bit of discoloration from the heat right there. I just know that I've had a couple comments where people said they melted their handles and I don't know how they got that done because like I said, I've run this thing for hours and nothing ever happens to the handle on mine. So with that, I hope you guys don't have a knockoff Mr. Buddy heater. And it also may be that I'm in a colder climate, not sure. Remember guys, safety first. This is just an informational video. Do your own research. Make sure you talk to professionals and don't try this at home. With that, if you enjoyed this, please like the video, share it out so other people get this information. Let me know if you like the video. Keep prepping, keep learning, keep doing guys. We'll see you on the next one.